can you hear the beautiful hum of that universal diesel engine being started up for the very first time by me? I certainly feel the power here at the helm. And I love listening to that water that's cooling down the engine, sputtering off the side of the hull there. All of our instruments look like they are in perfect working order. Everything is fine. It's gonna be a great engine with only 732 hours. So we have a lot of diesel engine life left in this beautiful, beautiful motor. Let's put together an in-depth video on how to properly start up and shut down your diesel engine for your sailboat. It may not be a universal, it may not be the Catalina 310, but all these steps should be applicable to you. I'm inside the cabin at my circuit panel and we need to turn off all of the AC loads, the outlets, the water heater, and the battery charger. Once we disconnect from shore power, I like to just run off of one battery. That way I have a second battery untouched that I can always go to for a reserve when we're starting up the engine again out on the water. Step two, let's make sure that the raw water engine intake seacock is open. All right, that'll burn your motor up real fast if that's closed. Let's make our way to the dock pedestal and flip off the breaker so it has no more power. We got our standard marine pedestal here with our breaker off, our big marine power cord. We're gonna leave that plugged in. And below here, we just have your standard plug for all of your dockside electronics. Now that the power is off both inside and at the dock, I can safely unplug the shore power cord. I always close these caps on the swim platform to keep all the water out. And then I'll throw the shore power on deck nice and neatly. It's always a smart idea to check the oil before starting the engine up. These oil levels look good to me. Engine coolant is also topped off. Pre-checklist is completed. Let's start up that diesel engine now. Let's make sure that our fuel shutoff lever is pressed down so that way we're getting fuel to the engine. Let's put in our key. When we turn it, we should see all the gauges here turn on. I got good battery, good fuel, and uh, we are ready to push to start. Let's do it. Listening for the water. We got that noise. RPMs are at 1000. Everything's looking good. Second best sound that your boat can make besides the engine starting is hearing that beautiful hum of the air conditioning inside your cabin. That's right, we're hooked back up. Just a quick reminder, hook up your dock lines to your boat, turn on the breaker on the pedestal, then switch your DC on and flip your batteries so that way they're charging all of your batteries, not just one or two. And uh, you should be back in your cozy slip if you're so lucky and enjoying all the luxuries that Shore Power has to offer. Thank you so much for uh, watching this quick uh, beginner's tutorial on how to turn on your engine. Hopefully I didn't leave anything out and I will catch you guys in the next Catalina 310 adventure.